Two of the scariest films I've ever seen are Suspiria and Shock. Suspiria was directed by Dario Argento and Shock stars Dario Nicolidi and they also happen to be in person Mr and Mrs Argento and I have them both with me here today. We're going to talk about their film careers and in particular Tenebrae, the latest film from Mr Dario Argento. Welcome to you both. Thank you for sparing the time to talk to us. And uh, we're going to be showing this program on cable where we have already shown Suspiria to uh, very great effect. People loved it and also shock. I'd like to start with you, Dario, and, and ask how you get into the film industry in Italy. Is it any different from anywhere else? You started writing as a yes. critic or a journalist. Yes, um, uh, my school is uh, the theory, uh, no? not really a school from movie and uh, no practice. No, no practical start. background. No. Oh. Um, but uh, uh, I am critic many years ago. What was the name of the newspaper? Paese Sera. Paese Sera. From Rome. Um, then uh, I, I, I try to explain my theory in the movies. You, for, the you first, uh, for the first, uh, I write uh, screenplays, some screenplay. And then um, at the fourth uh, screenplay, I direct myself. How do you go about uh, getting screenplays to producers in Rome? Do you just send them and say, here's a screenplay? Uh, yes. And were they all thrillers, psycho thrillers? Or no, no, films? no, no, no. It is not, no. The, my screenplays, no. They are mm, love story to a Bencho or a Sergio Leone, uh, What's Upon a Time in the West. The Western. Yeah, West. Many different things. I, but I like uh, all. Uh, the movie. I, I'm not. I'm specialized uh, like director, but uh, like spectator, no, like uh, audience. I'm. Uh, uh, Lots of different interests. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like uh, movies. I like movie, in especially all movies. <laughs> now, when they were, uh, when you were starting out in your career uh, yes. in Cinecetti in Rome, they were mostly making. Uh, sword and sandal epics, Hercules, um, and Mechisti films, and films like that. Were you tempted to write anything like that? Because that was what was going on at the time? Yes, but uh, this is a, a season in Italy, um, during uh, not, not, not much a year. Um, it's a very... It lasted a short time. Short time, yes. Because they were going through periods, weren't they? And then they started to make some westerns. Yes. And that is when you started to get your screenplays accepted because you wrote for Five Man Army, yes. which was directed by an American, American Don yes. Taylor. Yes. Did you just write a, a no, Western? No, I write this, uh, this, this in ac it's an accident. <laughs> yes. I write this screenplay f for any, any and uh, the MGM uh, buy the screenplay and then <laughs> make a picture. For me, it's a good, big surprise. Because it, it, the screenplay was very much like uh, the Seven Samurai, but the mercenaries, they're all about mercenaries, and of course it has a Japanese yes. Tatsutsu Teito, or whatever is the Japanese gentleman, yes. the samurai in it. Yes, Were you influenced I, by uh, the but, samurai films? But yes, like a Japanese, maybe, because I like Ben Russia. But uh, Sergio Leone, too, uh, oh, yes, very Fistful of Dollars. Very influenced, uh, yes, Yojimbo. Yes, yes, Yojimbo, and the other two. Sanjuro. No? Yes. yes. Uh, for me, um, it's natural, because I'm not American. I'm, um, uh, for me, the, the, the more interesting the, the Japanese no? feature. Whilst uh, Dario was writing screenplays for Westerns, you were an aspiring actress. Would that be correct? <laughs> uh, how are you going about pursuing your own career? Uh, how I started, how you started to be an actress. Yes. Uh, how Mostly. many actresses start with an academy of acting in Italy and Rome, and then with theatre, and then going on. And you still do theatre now? Yeah. Yeah. Whenever mm. you can get back to. No, I more playing theatre than in movies or television. You enjoy theatre more. No, no, no. Mm. I enjoy very much movies, but it happened that. Uh, happened that way. See, I I start an engagement, and you know it it uh, takes five six months, and so I can't do anything else. Yeah. If I'm free uh, and and someone asks me for a movie, I'm very pleased. <laughs> now the first small part you had in a movie was Francesco Rossi's Romani Concho, yes. which was uh, set in the First World War with yes. Gian Maria Volonti yes. and Alan Clooney, and it was an anti-war film, really. Yes, and you it was taken by a famous Italian novel called uh, Un anno sull'alto piano by Luz. It was a mm, bestseller in What Italy. does that mean in English? One year on the hills. Uh, uh, 
hills, not exactly. Alto Piano, it's, well, almost hills. Almost on the hills. Because uh, it In was the trenches of the First same. World War, yes. Yeah. And w was it just a, a lucky casting call that you, you got offered that particular part? Oh, I had been playing a quite successful place in theatre, then I was called by Rosie and he chose he me saw for you. the yeah. small, small part. Now, whilst the Daria was doing small parts, you had written screenplays for Five Man Army and Giuseppe Petroni Griffiths' Love Circle, as they call it here, yes. which was, it had a little bit of a thriller in there, didn't it? Because all of the characters are moving around. Yes. Was, was this one of it your first very, four? It's yeah. very, very difficult to screenplay for Petroni Griffiths. Because uh, all is uh, in the present, in the uh, the film is uh, in the present, in yeah. the past, and yeah. in maybe in future is uh, like mixture. It's very difficult to screenplay about uh, love. Yes. So was this one of your first efforts that actually got to the screen? Yes. 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 It also my first. Your first. Yes. It also was coincidental that uh, Tony Mazzanti yes. is in the film and yes. Morricone scores the music. Before. Yes. Because after, was this immediately after that, or did you then go on? to do the Leone film before you make your, own, your first film. Yes. Mr. Leone by then has finished his dollars and he's, does he do a story outline that you and Bertolucci yes. do a yes. story outline? Yeah. How did that come about? Sergio Leone, uh, we know Sergio Leone, Sergio Leone uh, called me and uh, I am a friend of Bertolucci because uh, we are the same generation and uh, we, we knows, no? Uh, yeah. Friends. <laughs> we, yeah, friends yeah. and uh, like uh, this other, Bellocchio, like uh, uh, San Perry is uh, for <laughs> young uh, directors. And uh, Sergio Leone called me and uh, called at the same time Bertolucci and when we write this screenplay, it's very um, fantastic uh, adventure because um, he is, uh, for me, is a teacher. In, the style with camera, the style with, with mm, character, the style to narrator, no? Is yes. It, right? is a, mm, you have preso molte cose. I, I, um, <laughs> I'm very impressed. I learned many learned things. Learned a lot. Man, man, yes. Really, really. Yes. It's a master for me. But there's an also an, another master that, that you're very fond of is Mario Bava, who had made uh, many horror films and uh, was working on the, uh, the Hercules and McKisty films at that yes. time. And you have a long-standing relationship, well you both have a long-standing relationship because obviously he directed Shock, didn't he? Yeah. And uh, how did that relationship, just, just friends or you liked his films or you got involved oh, yes. in his work? Yes, I like very much, um, I'm fr a friend because uh, now he's dead. Yes. Uh, in, uh, his son is my assistant, uh, Lamberto Bava is my assistant for yes. Tenebrae and Inferno. And for Inferno, Mario Bava make uh, all the special, special effects. effects. Yeah. Yes, because uh, in the, my first picture until uh, uh, Profondo Rosso, the Pred, are uh, manufactured by uh, Carlo Rambaldi. He wins the Oscar, no? For and the now, special effects. Special yes. effects. Now yes. he's in, in Los Angeles. He don't come Doing back in Europe, uh, yes. and then. Uh, uh, Mario Bava helped me very much. So there was a whole group of you all all together. Yeah, more or less uh, all friends together. Yes, yeah. yes. But I think uh, all around the world, the people like fantasy, like uh, these strange things, uh, like um, uh, we name it fantasy, uh, are friends. I think you know we have uh, like a big brothership. The same thoughts, the same yeah, ideas. Yes, yes. and uh, we speak, we meet. Uh, we change ideas, we change impressions, maybe we are very friends. Yeah. Carpenter, uh, Dante, uh, Miller, I think, uh, many others, uh, George, George Romero, uh, um, uh, John Landis. Uh, yes, because yes. you worked with George Romero on uh, yes. Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead, yes. Yeah. We, uh, we write a screenplay together. Yes. Yeah. Let's go back to the, to the beginning of your career where you've, you've You've done a story outline for Once Upon a Time in the West, yeah. with Bertolucci also does, and then uh, uh, Sergio Leone adapts it, plays yes. with it, and yes. uh, Salima, Sergio Salima comes in, or he also does some, some work? No, no Donati. Yes. So, there's so many Sergio, Donati, so, yeah. Sergio Donati. Sergio Donati. 
But what was left in the film by the time it had finally got to the screen that you had had some hand in writing? What did you write that stayed in the film? Exactly. Yes. No, because it's, a it's just group. ideas. It's a group. It's a group uh, work. Yes. We work in group uh, all the days uh, from the morning at eight o'clock yes. <laughs> until uh, the night. We used to do ideas. And sometimes you are in silence for three hours. No, <laughs> then ah, oh, here he is, here he is. <laughs> yes. This is this because is as a critic, you had seen many westerns. Yes. I presume, and you and you love the westerns. Yeah, and, I love. Are there any favourites of yours that you, uh, John Ford, presumably? Yes, maybe John, um, yes, maybe some Pekin Pa. Oh yes. 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 Well, bunch of things like that. Yeah. Yes. And you've never, apart from the screenplays, you've never been interested in making a western. No. Now it's past. Western's no. are past now. No, maybe, maybe not, because the movies, you know, the mythology, the sandal and the sword uh, is past. Maybe in the next year... Some you, back you to know, Western. Yes, yeah. The, yeah. the cinema is, is the same, you know. We have a fantasy in the, at the beginning of the movies. Okay, I think when the, the cinema is discovered, we have uh, the first two, uh, Brother Lumiere and uh, um, Feyad. Yes. Uh, in the Fayette are fantasy, uh, Lumiere are uh, realism, and uh, we are in the same, you know, yes. All, always the, on the century. The same, the cinema is in two, you no? Know? The two ways the went two ways. on. Yes. yes. It's the same. Fantasy and realism. Fantasy and realism. And realism. Yeah. yeah. Well, you've, you've more or less stayed with the fantasy side. Certainly, uh, you came to make your first film, which you also wrote, The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Yes. How did that come about, how did you raise the money to go about making that film? Because you'd, you'd been selling your screenplays and all of a sudden you decided the, with the family, you raise the money, you want to do it yourself. Is, yes. is this how uh, it comes uh, Yes, many, uh, one financer um, had money and many people had money. Bank, my father is financer and then uh, we have a money to yes. make. And you have a wonderful, you have Vittorio Storaro. Yes, uh, the first picture. Yes. Yes, because when uh, I, st I make this picture, uh, I'm debutant, no? Debutant? Yes. Uh, and uh, I, I'm scared uh, to have uh, the... Amateurs with you? No, 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 no. the contrary. Uh, to have the to have uh, collaborators uh, with too much experience, experience. Yes. and uh, yes. I have afraid because they say, "Oh, you are debutant," and then they, you don't know this. No, uh, for this reason, I want Storaro is debutant. Yes, uh, and uh, director, manager is debutant. Uh, all uh, assistant, all people. All first films. First films, and yes. then uh, uh, we like, we work really we, with our ideas. Really, our ideas invented in, during. Many years, no, when they yeah, and maybe so. more with, with more enthusiasm. Too. Maybe, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. all the young people, all, yeah, all the young people together. Yeah. They have very good uh, press. Uh, they all said the uh, the new Italian king of horror and, yeah. and terrible titles like that. <laughs> <laughs> you, but you had uh, Tony Musanti and Susie Kendall yes. and some lovely little cameos. Mario Adorf as the crazy painter was one yeah. of them. <laughs> was that because you had uh, West German, Italian, French uh, co-financing money? Uh, all my pictures uh, have many actors or many nationalities. In uh, either in the last I have uh, Russian, Romanian, uh, French, English, uh, American, uh, German, because uh, I like uh, to have uh, a mix. many experience. Yes, yeah. because uh, so all uh, nationality have uh, our, our, our experience, our method, you know? yes. and then uh, we spoke uh, about, we talk, the, the actor talk in the uh, same time, and they change experience, they change styles. Uh, I like this this uh, variety. You know? Now was. The Italian cinema had been through its uh, Hercules and Samson and Westerns. Westerns were, yes. were just about finishing. Yes. And then there was this new style, a style that uh, you helped introduce for horror psychological thriller films. Uh, what was the reaction to the film when it first came out in Italy? Was this the first of a new style of horror film thrillers? Well, yes. you, there, were, there were a lot of political films, political thrillers yes. going on, but yours was a psychological thriller. Yes. And obviously you deliberately chose to make a film like that. What was the response in Italy? The response is, uh, uh, for the, my first picture, is enormous, enormous, yes. enormous, because uh, I think is uh, for the young people are uh, in a position of a uh, political picture, because uh, in the time, uh, in the, the last uh, 60 years, in the, for the first, uh, 70 years. In Italy, uh, all the people are uh, uh, 
in the cinema, in the movie, uh, in the party. Yes. And in the leftist, in communist, in the socialist, in democrat. And uh, all people make a p a political picture. I don't know why. And the uh, audience, young audience especially, are really stocochata. Bored. Satiated. Please, yes. go. Yes. Finish. Please, yes. finish. But uh, the, the capital are from government, and then he, the government like uh, this <laughs> tendency. Uh, when the, my film start uh, shooting, uh, all people like the young people say, "Oh, finish, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> finish this fog." <laughs> no, no more political film. No, and no. then I think in, in effect, in fact, uh, the new director in Italy, uh, no more political. In France too now. Yes. Yes, yes. finish yeah. the uh, political. But there was still, we still, you still had. Uh, Elio Petri still doing uh, some films of Bertolucci, of course, and Bellocchio. Yes. There's some little things out of In the Name of the Father yes. that, that turn up in Suspiria, isn't there? The, the little stained glass that you used out of uh, yeah. In the Name of the Father. Bellocchio still makes political films, but you, you decided to do the fantasy thriller films, and you continue with that, with the, the next yeah. two screenplays you do. Yeah. I continue. Yes, you can. I, I mean, will continue. You continue to do them then after the after the success of Bird with a Crystal Plumage. Were you yes. offered some more money to do another one of the same? No, no, no. Because uh, I like um, it for my, the Bird with Crystal Plumage. For me, is uh, like a first chap chapter. Yes. Of uh, one story long. Uh, I not yet mm, finished. Not finished. No, not no. finished. First, and the second, were, third. There were some parts. I mean, Suspiria and then Inferno yes. were parts of the same. Uh, yes. Story, yes. and you seem to have finished that for for now, because Tenebrae is not about the same story; mm. it's completely different. But yes. have you still to finish the story of Suspiria? And no, the, no, the witches? no, no, because uh, I I want to com complete the trilogy is uh, Suspiria Inferno and the next because uh, if you remember, uh, you have the story of three mothers in um, in different Suspiria, places, in yes. different places. Yeah. Yes, I make uh, for the first two mothers and. Uh, uh, will be a third mother, but I don't know when exactly. I, I only have a little subject, uh, maybe the next, or maybe because I yet fi uh, just finished my picture now. Uh, I'm so mm, now deep in the in talking tenebrae. about tenebrae. Yes, yes. yes. And, yes. Um, I bisogna disintossicare, come disintossication. He wants to get di disintoxicated. Yes. <laughs> Let it get it go for a while. Yeah. After you had a couple of parts in some films, including one in uh, Elio Petri, we mentioned, mm -hmm. um, you also turned up or came to meet Dario on uh, Profondo Rosso. Yes. And uh, had you done many pictures in between? <coughs> had, had you sort of got uh, stuck in doing thrillers and horror films? Or? Oh, after Elio Petri's film, I had been playing for two years in a very successful musical comedy in Italy. And then I wanted to stop because two years of theatre, one after the other, it's, it's enough. Tiring. And so Dario called me to make a provino. Uh, for Profondo Rosso, he chose me, and I thought I was very lucky because yeah. I appreciated him as a director. Is it, it's difficult to see Italian actresses other than what you think of Claudia Cardinale or Sophie Lowen, and the, the, the well-known, beautiful Italian actresses. Not that you're not beautiful, but it's, it seems to me to be very hard to establish, uh, a, to become a character actress, to work very hard, because there seem to be very few opportunities in Italian films for well, of actresses. course, uh, Italian movies uh, have uh, give a little space to women. I don't know if it's our society or what happens, but um, um, the best opportunities for me are in the fantasy movies, where a woman can really uh, try to imagine Im imagination. Use imagination. See. Yes. Yeah. But does that not does that bother you at all that you are then part of a violent uh, fantasy? And you're part of. I love these films. You love them. <laughs> oh, I love them. They excite me very much. Yes, you like you like to make them, and presumably you you enjoy writing the screenplays and directing them. But you must have had some criticism from people who criticise you for saying that most of the violence is against women, and sometimes we see many scantily dressed young ladies on screen being attacked by yeah. vicious people. But the, for me, is uh, absolutely not uh, not a. Uh, um, uh, problem, moral problem for me because uh, I use uh, the women because uh, I think the women are 
better than uh, actress, actresses, actor than uh, the men, because um, I like men actor, but um, less than women, because uh, the actor have uh, the men uh, actor have, have uh, many complex. The women are so free, so open, and uh, are so beautiful too. And for this reason, uh, my picture have uh, so many women. For other reason, no, because um, it's stupid to think in this. Because uh, really, for this reason, I like women. Mm. I like his person, his face. I don't like a man. A man uh, yes, I use men too. But well, uh, many men get killed in your films at the same yeah, time. Yes, yes, of course. Because uh, when I the, I work with a man in, on the on the crew on the set, no, uh, or the man actor man. Yes. Oh, I'm so embarrassed because uh, I I know. The main actor have many complex to play on the set, on the, on the movie, on the theater too. The women are more simple, more and more brava too. <laughs> do you find that? I mean, do, do you need some uh, a lot of direction to get into? You say you enjoyed them. Do you need a lot of direction to to become as loose and as free as Dario suggests the actresses are? Uh, I don't think so. But Dario is a director who gives a lot of what an actress needs during the shooting. So where I cannot arrive, he will certainly help me as the other actresses. And it's, it's, if it's in the script or in the direction, that's, that's the way it helps. It's, uh, the script are very precise yes. and uh, generally full of fantasy, full of um, life. So um, if you have uh, something in yourself, you, it, it will be taken out, it will be shot off. You certainly got a, a lot out of Jessica Harper in Suspiria. Had you seen any any films that she had been in that made you choose her for the role in Suspiria? Um, no, I chose Jessica Harper. Just um, because? No, just because is, uh, she's perfect for this uh, role, this part. She has a certain naivety. Yes, yes, yes she has uh, like uh, Snow White for me. No? Snow White? Yes, yes, for this reason I only dress in white. Uh, because uh, for me the, the characters are like Snow White. and. Uh, you something uh, you maybe you don't know, but uh, the first uh, screenplay are uh, right for the old people in the picture, uh, uh, children of ten or eight years in the, in, the, in the college, and then uh, is I rehearse to uh, but it's so difficult to work with the many 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 young uh, children people, children, children. Yeah. and then uh, I use. Uh, People mm, more teenagers, 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 teenagers. but uh, but uh, the screenplay is uh, the same. And then uh, if you uh, see the film in this uh, sense, you understand the, the uh, she's the fairy princess. Yes, and the princess and the and the speech. Yes, and the the dialogue are uh, for the children. No, yes. this is. But it's it's so violent that the children can't see it. Yeah, no. Mm. Oh, they love it. They, they love it. Television. They love it. Teenagers, in videos. Yes. Yes. Oh. Video. Children, too. Yes. Oh, they like yeah. monsters. Yes. Now, that you also used uh, Joan Bennett. Yes. Had an, a nice little part in that. And uh, do you like the old Hollywood actresses? Do you try and involve. Um, yes, but I used Joan Bennett as like uh, an homage to uh, Fritz Lang. Yes. Yes. And she is a big actress, a wonderful actress. As Fritz Lang is another influence on. Yes. Oh, yes. you, you see many of his films as a critic, or just because you enjoyed them? Both. I see the, oh. the, the, the picture because I'm, I'm enjoyed because I'm audience, no, because I'm critics. So yeah, I'm no cinephile. I'm, I'm, I'm a spectator. Yes. yes, you're a spectator. You're not. Yes, you're just making films for the spectators. Yeah, yeah. for this yeah. because the cinephile are so involved in sentiment, no, with yes. the picture. No, I'm. Yeah. I like, I enjoy, I'm, uh, I love. <laughs> but you're, you're, you're very technically competent because you, you're very careful about the stock, yes. uh, the film that you use. In uh, it's Suspiria, it, it was, uh, you, were, you chose the film precisely because of the, the way you wanted it. You're very careful in the way you, you design the sets, yes. in, again, because of the way you want to look. Yes, and also it's gothic, uh, Suspiria. The, oh, the, the Fritz Lang. Style, in, yeah, yes, the Fritz Lang. Style, yes. yeah. And the shooting in Germany, old picture. In, yes. In Freiburg, in Munich. Um, so, but, but so not only are you a little spectator, but you're a very competent technician. 
the the, uh, the camera work in Tenebrae in some of the scenes is excellent. Especially, I mean, especially the zoom. You know the scene I mean. The zoom yes. that goes up and round the house where the uh, the young lady is. And yeah. you, that's that's. You didn't use a steady cam for that, did you? Yes. Oh, it was a steady cam. Yes. Yes. Many in Tenebrae too. Many steady. Cam. Many steady cam. Tenebrae use uh, a new camera. Um, I think it was the first time I used it, named Luma. Yes. Luma camera is French camera. It's very, very revolutionary yeah. camera. It's a camera very, very difficult to explain. But uh, uh, the possibilities of this camera are uh, enormous, enormous. Yes. Very acrobatic. Very, yes, very, very acrobatic. It's very light. Yes. yes. Are you? Uh, do you do you enjoy the all the, the uh, technical? Uh, achievements yeah. uh, that enable you to be freer with what you're doing with your films? Yes, I'm, I'm, for me the technical uh, are new poetic of, of um, the movie, in the movie. Because um, uh, the, the technique now uh, uh, has gained top, no? Has gained. Gained top, really unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, you mean this in the science fiction, the space? Yeah, it's like yeah. all in the, in the picture, Mem, uh, same in the picture, in comedy picture, we yeah. use the technique uh, incredible. And uh, uh, all the old, old picture, are, it becomes primitive now, yes. <laughs> because uh, when you see a film uh, made uh, 20 years ago in the television, you say, but really, it's primitive uh, yes. in the Stone Age, <laughs> yes. because uh, uh, the develop development of uh, the technology, the technology yeah. now is uh, very fantastic, yeah. enthusiasm. But, but you don't make it take over the story or the script. You always keep, you make the technology work for you. You don't let the uh, script or the story get forgotten. No, I, um, I, I'm interested in the, all the technology, no? Yeah. And the, I think I, you see in my pictures, yes. so strange. <laughs> well, there's some lovely scenes. There's uh, John Saxon. When John Saxon yes. dies, the atmosphere in that scene yes. in Tenebrae, yes. it's so it's like a little film in itself. Yes. It was all. It looked like it was a little film. The way that you're following, you're going backwards and you're coming back, and, and John Saxon's looking around and he's wondering yes. what's happening, and you have no sense of what's going to happen at all. It's a little film in itself, yes. and it's a with many but many characters. Oh, right? all, yes, the people on on skates and everything going yeah. on, and oh, you don't know, flowing. You don't know what's going to happen. It's a beautiful little scene. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and another thing you use very well to very good effect is music. Yes. And either Morricone in your early films or the, the Goblin, as they are so called in Suspiria. And uh, do you have the music shot? At the same time as the film, do you play it on the set? Is it uh, done for, afterwards? Or? Yes, for for not for my picture, for Suspiria and um, and uh, Inferno, I have uh, some piece uh, in advance, and I play music during the, the shooting. The of the shooting film. Yes, because uh, um, the music is uh, uh, creates a mood. Personage, Ad Ad yeah, a mood. character. Uh, um, a rhythm, no? a rhythm, a, yes. a rhythm, a strange atmosphere, and, and made very much. Yes, I think it's important for me. If it's possible, I use it, uh, always the music in the, during the shooting. You've been to three different composers, well, more composers, yes. but Morricone and Goblin, and Goblin, and and, and, and Keith Emerson. Keith Emerson, Inferno, Inferno yes. uh, which is wonderful uh, yeah. use of his music there. And then yeah. you have a different composer for uh, for Tenebrae. No, it's a uh, it's one of Goblin. Yes, yes. three of Goblin, yes. not four. Not four. <laughs> yeah. One of them's gone. Yes. Yeah. But uh, do you try and seek out uh, more talking about technology, more electronic music, yes. more and more bizarre music? For yes. Yeah, you definitely go to go look for it. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. We we discuss. Um, Months and months before the picture, we discuss music. We we, we compose, we study, and then uh, when the, I start the picture, we uh, I have uh, the mostly of music uh, composed. And uh yes, yeah. you appeared in Mario Bava's last film, Shock. I, d I did an another one after, but it was for the television. It's oh. called The Venus of Ill. It's the last work Mario Bava which, did. Which he did for television. Yeah. Yes. It and Shock was a, a very well made, nice little horror film. Did yeah, you, thanks. Did you uh, get involved in the, the presentation of the film, the script, and the way it was put together at all? So, some little thing, yes. Yeah. But it's it like a group, you all yeah. get together. And was, it, was, he st was he still well when he was shooting the film? Of course. Yes, there was no problem. 
a young boy. No, mm. he wasn't like age, but he was in the mind. He, it was related to work like uh, with an older brother, mm. not too old, who wants to make you enjoy, and every one of the crew had to enjoy. And enjoy he, he, see, he yeah. put everything at he, yeah. his ease. A wonderful do, person. Do you, do you have to shoot the story in sequence and the special effects? Uh, we shoot afterwards? almost in, in sequence yes. with the special effects too. At the same time? See. Ah, so by the time that you end up in the cellar at the end of the film, mm -hmm. uh, everything is prepared and you're ready for uh, yes. the little boy to finish his uh, yes. massacre of the family. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You've also done some television work as well for, uh, in Italy. Well, this, was this again horror and thriller films, or was it uh, documentaries? What did you do on, on television? No, I, I make a, uh, four uh, TV picture short, but uh, I'm only producer and writer, and direct uh, from my four first assistant, and named uh, The Door on the Dark. And uh, it's four TV films, four TV films short, not long. And uh, I think it's good, mm, good work. But very frightening. Oh, the th the horror yeah. films. Horror See, yes, yes, very strange because it's an is a or is a first picture for this young uh, yes. assistant man. This is. Is there any kind of uh, were you told not to do too much violence because it was for television? Yes, I have a little problem, little problem, but. Uh, then we discuss uh, always uh, with sense of <laughs> yes, <always laughs> discuss. <with the> <laughs> okay, if you don't make a comedy, you know, yes. or film yeah. about Christ, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Oh, right. it's okay. But yes. the others, uh, we have uh, some problem with the, with the sense or with the politics. Or yes. All. Yeah. Okay. D uh, with there's been a whole slew of horror films, hundreds of them, uh, Friday the Thirteenth and Burnings and. Uh, people getting chopped up in all kinds of bizarre situations. Do you think there's uh, any time when the violence can get too far or do you have a, c a code? Do you know when to stop uh, no. making something too violent, too, too graphic? No, the, the code is not for me, it's for the, the sensor. For the sensor yes. I have a code for, for my inspiration. Yes. This is the only code I follow. Do you, do, you f uh, do you feel that you have to compete with the other violence which is going on different films on different screens? No, because as you say, the violence uh, American, the film American is different from me. I'm European, I'm, uh, I'm yes. Italian. I'm my style and uh, it's completely the American different. is, yeah, absolutely, yes, yeah. I think. Uh, You're more into psychology, certainly yeah. in, in Tenebrae, which has a very good performance by uh, by yourself and Mr. Oh, Franciscus. Uh, it was originally written for uh, Christopher Walken, was it? That, uh, but the original, uh, yes. But uh, when uh, I make uh, uh, Provino, it's... Uh, yeah, so you know, when you make the proof to the actor, I don't know yes. the uh, right word. I, I saw, I saw uh, Walken is too young to play a character writer with the big experience. Yes. We write, uh, he write many books and then it's just... He's too, too young. young. Too young for, to be credible. No? Yes. Be so you change believable. actors. Yes, believable. Yeah. Do, are you pleased with the decision or? Oh, me. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. It works very well. Yeah. You have. I mean, there's several. Uh, besides the piece I mentioned, when the camera work is excellent, and John Saxon's yeah. little piece, there's several. Uh, <coughs> Grand Guignol, the ho great horror uh, set pieces in the film. Does that take you a long time to set up? Do you have to storyboard? Uh, do drawings? No, of I have a, I, uh, uh, exactly storyboard. Yes, I worked for for um, three months for, uh, to complete the storyboard. Before you start shooting, absolutely. The film. If yes. not, uh, the, it's, it's impossible. Impossible the improvisation in this kind of picture. This kind of picture is uh, very hard, very difficult to make. I think, um, and then uh, the preparation is very important. Important to have uh, a screenplay exactly perfectly not improvisation day for day. Mm. And then uh, a storyboard perfectly, exactly, because uh, many technical uh, problems uh, all days we have, you know? Yes. And for this, it's... Mm. You also used, uh, as the police inspector, Gelardo Gemma, yeah. who's, who's best known here, or, or only seen here, for uh, Westerns, although yeah. he did uh, some wonderful films. Uh, he did one with uh, Pasquale Squicchetti, I Squitieri. think. Uh, yeah. who was who was very good in that. 
Do you, did you see in him that you wanted to, to bring him out of uh, westerns and the kind of roles that he'd been in? Because he's a very good actor, isn't he? Yes. And yes, he played in my picture like, um, very good. He's no problem. A, yes, no problem. He's a yeah. very good actor and a very nice face and yes. very fine. You, you almost have a little troupe of actors that you like to use every now and then because John Steiner yes. is also in, in the film yes, again. He was, he was also in shock. Yes. And is it the same that you have a, you have a group of uh, people who write, you have a group of uh, producers, you have a group of actors, you have a group of technicians and you all carry on making the films together? Is this yeah. how you work? Is that how it happens? Cioè, lavori sempre con dei gruppi che ti porti dietro, direttore? No, I change. Uh, you change, change everything. everything, yes. yes. I have uh, mm, I work with the DP, director of photography. Yes. Uh, Storaro, uh, Tovoli, many, many. Covilla, Albani. Covilla, Albani. Always oh, changed. Uh, Mengzer. Uh, many, many. Yes. I, I like, uh, for this reason, I, I say uh, before, Ah, oh, before, yeah. yes. Uh, I use the main nationality of actor and main yes. actor because I like variety. The, I like, I like. <laughs> like to like to mix it. Yes. Is it is the uh, Italian film industry in a healthy situation? Is there enough uh, money uh, for you to make your films there, or do you always have to go for co-productions? But it's, I think it's a crisis in, uh, in finance crisis is all around the world, and all the activities are in little crisis now. Yeah. Now. No, yes, a little crisis, but uh, the, 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 the pictures are uh, always the king of the, the TV, yeah. the same, and I uh, think a long, long life at uh, movie. <laughs> well, you obviously have a lot more movies to make. Yes. I hope you continue to direct and to star in both of thank them. You. And thank you very much for coming to talk to us today. Thank you. Thank you. Very much.